why I uh, guess I know what Eureka looks like now. What I don't get is why you were there today. How'd you know I was there? I was called. There was a huge, dark, ominous cloud hanging over the place, and out of nowhere, you came out. I wasn't the only one called, either. There was, uh... She was called. He was called. Uh... They were there. Uh, actually, he... Yeah, he was there, and he said he knew you. Acted kind of smug about it. Son of a bitch, Egan. What does he have to do with Eureka? What do, do any of these people have to do with it? Maybe the calling has to do with you. Why would it be about me? I mean, think about it. All of these people got to Eureka just in time to see you leaving. You didn't get the calling. So you tell me. Why is that? Come on, Mick. You know that there are a million possible answers to that. Or maybe just one. Maybe we were called to stop you from doing something. Why were you at Eureka, Ben? I was getting my baselines measured to go into testing tomorrow. Well, testing? What What kind of testing? Full battery. I'm their guinea pig to poke and prod. Uh, it was the only way to get Pete released. Uh, I don't care what kind of deal you made with them. Why are you going through with this? We need their help. Eureka, since when? Since we saw Pete and Corey's life ripped out of their body. We have zero control over our own survival now. Okay, I seriously think you're jumping to conclusions on that. Come on, Nick. For two years now, we thought we were getting closer to surviving this. One calling at a time, then Zeke survived, and we were certain. Follow the callings and live. But now... Now it's all been upended. It hasn't been because Zeke is safe at home with Beverly because of exactly what you're talking about. He followed the callings. Yeah, but Zeke had his own death date, same as Griffin. They were both alone in their own lifeboat. Lifeboat? Uh, Savi's term for intertwined faith. They disappeared together. They returned together. They shared the same death date. And what happened? Corey and Pete followed their callings. They redeemed themselves, just like Zeke. But it wasn't enough. Jason's darkness literally dragged them to their death. He sunk their lifeboat. But, but he was one person, Ben. We have 184 passengers to save. Exactly. But now it's not just about us following the callings. Now we have to make damn sure that every single passenger does the same thing. We sink or swim together. You have no idea who or what would sink us. Which is why I have to go back to Eureka and test. We might find some kind of scientific workaround that can save us. Because suddenly now I have very little faith in us saving ourselves.